My name is Sarah Keane, I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Swim Ireland and I'm here today to talk to you as we near the end of our 2013 to 2016 strategic plan. I'm going to tell you about what we set out to achieve and how we did during that period. Well firstly, this new plan set a new direction for the organisation in many ways. To inspire and empower people of all ages and abilities to participate in our sport and to embrace a healthy lifestyle. This meant we were not just about competitive swimming and fast times. We also opened up our membership categories and we now have special members and we hope to bring in leisure membership. And this year we'll also be relaunching our Child Learn to Swim programme. We wanted to recognise and support the disciplines. We wanted to recognise the characteristics developed through our sport, teamwork, discipline, leadership. And we wanted to reach out to the Irish public and encourage them to swim. Well, we introduced a new programme called Swim for a Mile. We've run it now for three years and we've had between 1,500 and 2,000 participants involved each time some of who had never even swum two lengths prior to this. In 2016 alone, we had over 6,000 people sign up to this 12-week programme. And we introduced the Club Youth Awards, which were recognising people for things they're doing outside of the pool. Now let's talk about our members. Our clubs are the heart of what we do, and the engine for our sport is the workforce. Teachers, coaches, volunteers and staff, all working in partnership to deliver for our sport. Over the lifetime of the plan, we have worked much more closely with the regions and they have development plans. We have rejuvenated the whole sport of diving. We now have much more visible support for our clubs through the support officers on the ground. And we also have brought in a master's development plan, a water polo development plan and a diving development plan. And we have club days and training programmes where people share opportunities and meet each other. Another strategic pillar is education. It's hard to believe, but we're delivering almost 50 courses each year with over 700 candidates across all the disciplines. We're about to launch a new CPD programme later this year, and the board have invested more in education going forward, so exciting times to come. And now we get to high performance. Obviously, this is a very exciting time. It's the year of the Rio Olympic Games, and we are going to have at least four athletes at the Games. And in this last cycle, we have had more international medals than at any other period in our history, 13 at the last count. We're also moving towards world level with our first World University Games medals in almost 20 years. And this season alone, there have been almost 30 Irish records broken. And we are not sitting on our laurels. We are already developing our new high performance strategy, which will focus on the people and the holistic development of the person and not just the athlete. And now we come to the fifth strategic pillar, our operational side. As an organization with over 3 million in turnover, it's very important that we have all the right processes in place. We were the first organisation to adopt the Voluntary Code of Governance and we will continue to adhere to that code. We now have financial stability, we have introduced a marketing function and we have very good relationships with much more commercial focus. So I'm going to finish off by welcoming us into the new era of 2017 where we plan to consolidate and build. We know there's going to be lots of challenges but we have great people and great support. Thank you very much to the Sports Councils, the Government, the OCI and all of you in the Swim Ireland family who make this happen. I'm very proud to be part of that family and I hope that as we keep going forward we'll all work together to keep our sport and those involved happy and healthy.